What up guys, Shadowblade here, um, and today I have something I wanted to speak to you guys about. Um, some of you might not know, but, um, some of you might be aware of the subject that's going around as far as Comic Cons go, some of you might not, but if you don't know, I'm going to fill you in, so you're not missing on anything. Almost all Comic Cons are banning weapons. And for a very good reason. Um, with that being said, um, you know, the reason why they're banning it is because of people like this man that I'm about to play the clip for you of. Um, he was, he had the intent to kill if you guys know I'm very good friends with you know the the green the man that played the green white ranger the red zeal ranger the red turbo ranger and the black dino thunder ranger well he sent me a clip just a couple hours ago and I didn't catch it until just now but when he did send it to me I watched it um, this man had an intent. He was dressed as the Punisher. He had the intent to walk into a Comic Con with the intent to kill Jason David Frank. Some of you might know him as the Green Ranger on Power Rangers. This man walked in with four pistols and one knife with the intent to get past security and to either harm or to possibly kill and murder Jason David Frank. What his motive was, they are not releasing that yet, but I will let this next clip speak for itself so you guys can see just what he's talking about. Sterling intended to harm Jason David Frank, known for his role as the Green Power Ranger. I've already forgiven him. Um, do I want him to serve jail time and get the mental help he needs? Absolutely. A tip leading police to confront Sterling. He was armed with a knife and four loaded guns. Uh, has your opinion changed at all? I feel safe if they're checking for guns and they're checking for backpacks and not let people walk in just like he did and point to a table and then just bypass it. Phoenix is the first and it shouldn't be the last. Yet many fans slamming promoters for their decision on Facebook. Really? No lightsabers or even wands of all things, one person writes? Um, I'm backing Phoenix Comic Con. I think there's, you know, they, they, they have great rules and I think the people that are focusing on, on bringing a gun and so bummed out, there's more to life. San Diego Comic-Con is this weekend where promoters are not choosing to ban metal prop weapons. Frank is still planning to be there, but will have five personal security guards on him at the event. But, as you guys just saw, like, I personally agree with him on the subject of banning weapons from Comic-Con. Like, I'm not saying, like, I know that, you know, weapons are a very big part of certain cosplays, like Trigun, um, you know, um, and, you know, several other ones, like Attack on Titan, you know, the blades that they use, um, the Punisher, obviously, Deadpool, um, just many different, you know, weapons at comic cons like i uh, personally do agree with their rules because they're not trying to bum anyone out they're trying to keep people safe they're trying to keep the staff the guests there they're trying to keep the people that come there to have a good time safe and the only way they know how to do that is sadly and unfortunately to ban weapons from comic cons and you know like i said i don't disagree with that. I fully agree with it 
I feel like if somebody as ill-minded as that man was can come in and bypass security and just, you know, try to kill somebody. Let's we'll say that somebody with a sword or even worse comes in with the intent to do harm to a staff member or somebody there. So personally, I do agree with that. I understand that a lot of you might be pissed at me for this. But, and I know, like, lightsabers are not for real yet. Well, I can't say they are, but I can't say that they're not. If, like, you get what I mean. But at the same time, you know, like, lightsabers are still in that experimental stage where they're not even, you know, fully functioning yet. So, you know, you can't really do any harm with a lightsaber unless it's like a fencing lightsaber like you know that's normal and i can understand you know where people would be bummed out about that if you're like me and you're a huge star wars fan and you know you want to play the role of a jedi or a sith lord and like you know obviously the lightsaber is a very iconic weapon but honestly i fully agree with their decisions and why they're doing what they're doing. Like, you know, they're just trying to keep everybody safe. And as a lot of you may or may not know, like, Jason David Frank <clears throat> is actually a very, you know, not only is huge inspiration to me, but also, you know, he's a very good friend of mine. I talked to him on Facebook quite a bit, actually, through his fan page. Um, you know, he's always liking my artwork. <clears throat> like, he's always liking the stuff that I do for him. And, you know, like, every time I post something up, he's like, dude, like, I love that. That's awesome. Like, thank you. Like, he loves my artwork that I send to him. And honestly, you know, just getting to talk to him in general and just him liking my stuff, you know. Believe it or not, he's actually more of a normal person than most people lead to believe. Like, he's very nice. He's very well-mannered. You know, he's a real nice person all around. And, you know, like, a lot of the times when I'm going through a tough time, I'll talk to him. And be like, hey, when you get a minute, can I talk to you about something? And, you know, he'll help me out with whatever situation I'm going through at that time. So, you know, I definitely appreciate people like him taking the time out of his day to talk to people like myself. And honestly, I feel as if somebody were to talk to this man who tried to go into the Comic Cons and do harm to him. I feel like if somebody would have talked to that man a lot sooner, I feel like maybe this could have been prevented many, many, many days ahead of time. And maybe, you know, Comic Cons won't be in the situation they're in. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to end this little snippet thingy right here. Uh, post in the comments whether you agree or disagree. Um, if you agree, you know, slap that like button. If you disagree, you already know what other button to hit. I prefer you hit the like button, but the dislike button is there too if you want to hit that but if you're watching this and you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that notification bell at the bottom if you want to see more notifications but with that being said guys this is shadow blade and i will catch you guys next time like i said if you agree or disagree post it in the comments let me know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are on this matter. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.